Where's the strangest place you've ever wrestled? The strangest? Oh, I had a few. Um, there was a thing called Rock and Roll Wrestling Bash. And the concept was uh, there's a live band, obviously, that plays metal. And uh, there's wrestling going on during the concert. Like there was a ring in the middle of the crowd. Um, that wasn't that strange. But the idea of that promoter was that everybody has like really weird gimmicks. So we were all dressed up in some sort of costumes. And one of us was the butcher. So obviously he had to bring a lot of meat with him. So... <laughs> And at some point there was a battle royal and yeah, at, at some point in there when I was in my, I even forgot what costume that was I was in when I looked at my friend that was the butcher <laughs> and he stood in front of me with a giant turkey leg and there was ground meat all over that ring. It was absolutely disgusting. Um, it was one of the few occasions where I asked myself, where I, where I asked myself like, what, what am I even doing here? It's like, well, what is this? I'm glad I did it. Like, that uh, was fun while doing it. Wow. All right. I think you've won. I've heard some doozies recently, and uh, I think you've won. The fact that you're wrestling on ground beef might be, <laughs> uh, you know, the chalk up of Stranger's Place you've ever wrestled. Man, that is nuts. But next week, Survivor Series on Peacock, NBC's Peacock, on November 25th. I am pumped. I'll be there live watching you smack around The Miz. But The yeah. Miz is an eight-time Intercontinental Champion. If he does, if he does, beat you, he ties Chris Jericho for nine reigns, which is the most there ever has been. But you are the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion. So heading into this matchup, how do you feel about The Miz as a person, as a wrestler? Tricky one, huh? I feel like uh, when I grew up, like as a wrestler, not as a kid, um, but when I was, was wrestling and diving in deep and trying to get better and stuff, I was... I don't know, I kind of I despised WWE at that point because I didn't like watching it. I was focused on, I want to be a wrestler and I want to be, yeah, want to focus on the athleticism and everything around it was, yeah, too much trara for my personal taste in that time. And I think in the, yeah, in the internet wrestling bubble during the time, I don't know what the year it was, um, like there was a sentiment towards the company that, programming right now is not really good and we don't enjoy it and for me Miss was always like the embodiment of that era that feeling that I had uh, nevertheless to say it's obviously a big challenge for me because I'm not a typical WWE guy in that sense it's like I developed my style my character I developed all of that outside of WWE even though I was in NXT I wasn't the programming I was never really in their system um, on the other side, we have Miz, who is somebody who's a prime example of yeah, how effective that system can be and how successful. I mean, the guy was basically like not a wrestler before they picked him up, and it turned out he has one of the most successful careers anybody has ever had in the company. That's to be respected. Um, but times change, his business changed, and I don't believe in to you have to grit your teeth in this company to actually come in at some point, have an impact, and have a status. Uh, yeah, being an outsider, more or less, and that's what I am. And that's why I think it's a pretty interesting matchup here to compare that whole thing a little bit. That being said, Miss obviously is everything that I think a wrestler should not be. Um, he's, a, he's a goof, he's a clown. He gets in there and yeah, uh, pulls off his show and makes sure the focus is on him and on him alone. Um, I go up there and I think the focus should be on that ring, on that sport, on that whole environment we have here. It's like it's a, it's a honorable thing. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to getting the, in the ring with the Miz and yeah, make him understand and feel what it means to be in the ring with myself. Yeah, I can't uh, imagine take one of those slaps. I interviewed you at SummerSlam, and I asked if random people just come up to you and ask to be slapped. And you said no, but I still feel like they do, and you were lying to me. <clears throat> and the Miz yeah. is going to get slapped around at Survivor Series because, again, longest reigning Intercontinental Champion of all time. Like Honky Tonk Man held that reign for decades, 
And now here you are heading into Survivor Series, one of the biggest events of the year in Intercontinental Champion. It's it's going to be an outstanding matchup because Miz, former world champion, Money in the Bank winner, IC champion. Like we've done, he's done everything. But here you are doing something no one's ever done. Longest IC champion of all time.